Okay, so I just got back from my pre-race ride and I have to say I'm quite excited by how the bike works. It works well I, since I removed the storage uh, equipment. It's a lot lighter now, so there is no, no excess. Uh, I have also mounted uh, this Elite Aero water bottle. I'm not going to use it uh, this time, but for my next time trial which will be a lot longer, at around 30 kilometers. I'm going to need that since it's getting quite warm now. So overall, I'm really happy with, with the bike. It was quite a thrill to ride uh, in this uh, trip down format, but I have experienced one problem with this chain. Obviously, this is, a, this is the chain I've shown you earlier, the YBN. Molten Speedwax uh, treated chain, and the problem is that uh, when I get to these narrow wide uh, pulley wheels at the derailleur, the white part doesn't seem to fit in the inside of the chain. It's really, really, really snug. So for some reason, this chain is a little bit thinner than the SRAM one I have used before. So I'm going to need to remedy this, of course, to see how uh, the chain has a hard time going around. Mm, definitely not, not a good thing for, for efficiency. So I'll need to change that. It will be sort of a last minute change, but uh, this is exactly the reason why you, I do and why you should do as well ride these pre-ride or I mean pre-race pre-race checks to make sure that everything is working fine and it's in good working order okay so the first thing I did was that I turned on the crock pot uh, to get the box melted because obviously it takes quite a long time to do it safely and now I'm going to prepare the chain or the chains at least I'm going to use well treat multiple chains this time because it's quite um, ineffective to do just one chain at a time so let's get into it uh, okay so I went back inside to prepare my chains here's on the right here's my mineral spirit to wash off the factory lube these are three Shimano Durace chains uh, you might wonder why did I choose these ones and if, if you go to Friction Facts and see their individual chain tests, then among all the 11 speed uh, chains, Shimano comes up as the most efficient. It beats SRAM by 1.5 watts, so that's definitely not no slouch. Uh, in the middle there, uh, you can see that's I think I'm going to experiment on, with one of the chains that's a metal polishing agent. Uh, Molson Speedback says that the chain performs best when broken in on the bike first and then uh, treated so the ch chain links are polished. I will try to add uh, some of that polish on one of the chains to see the finish that it creates. Then what do we have here? Yeah, turbo trainer. So I'm going to use that to break the chain in, but I don't want to put the time trial bike in that now. So I think I'm going to use the KTM right there. And here I have another chain ready to evox, so I'm going to do four. It's a bit more efficient, and here I have my basically powdering device. So that's that's the last step I'm going to take. Yeah, so I think we're ready. The box is starting to melt now. So let's get into it.
Okay, now I have the Jure's chain on. Uh, it wasn't a quick process, of course. I didn't want to make this detour now in the evening before the race, but I guess that's just a bit of bad luck, maybe. But it's definitely better that I spotted it now. Anyway, the Jure's chain is working perfectly and I'm really satisfied with it. Uh, fr the friction seems to be very very low and shifting is awesome I actually made the chain, chain one link longer so I get less tension and perhaps a bit less friction uh, so one quick tip there if you are putting on a race chain make sure it's as long as it's possible in your setup because less friction um, I mean less chain tension means less friction as well. Okay, so let's just give it a bit of a spin to see how it shifts. so it seems to be working all right it's still a bit tight on the narrow wide uh, chain ring as you could have seen just a moment ago but I think I'm not going for a ride anymore today I'll just uh, break it in, in in my warm up tomorrow so that's pretty much uh, it with the bike now I'm going to pack my things up and Hopefully get some rest before tomorrow. Okay, I guess I'm finally ready now. It's quite late uh, in the evening. S sun starts to go down, so... Let's just pack up the things uh, into the car and then we're ready to go. What I'm taking, obviously it's my time trial bike. Uh, with an additional 454 NSW front wheel in case it's very windy. I got my pump, a spare tire, turbo trainer, and my kit, which I shown you earlier. So that's it. Now it's just time to have a rest and then go racing. Uh, if you want to see uh, how I do, then of course uh, stay tuned. For tomorrow and if you'd like to know more about my preparation and my bike then don't forget to check out other videos in my channel and subscribe it's all for today thanks for watching and see you next time